Hey everyone, it's See Me Naturally here. If you're wanting to find out how I created these cool green screen graphics for my last video, then stick around. I'll also be including some other ones that I created specifically just for this video. So, if you're wanting these cool tips and tricks, stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and like, leave a comment if you have a question, and subscribe if you love my content. So today I'm bringing you all a tutorial because I noticed that my film editing software had some pretty neat transitions, but they weren't really fitting my personality. So I figured why not create my own? So yeah, through this tutorial video, I will show you all how I went through the process of creating my own green screen using Canva. The first thing that you're going to do is go ahead and sign into Canva and go into the main page. And you're gonna just type in YouTube thumbnail. This is going to uh, give you all the perfect size that you can use for your videos. And just start off with a um, blank slate. That way you can put whatever you want on it. So now what I'm doing is I'm looking through and deciding which graphic I wanna choose for my video of course if you're familiar with canva you'll notice that they have so many options so what i'm doing now is i'm just opening up new pages so that i can create as many templates or graphics that i like the next thing that you're going to do is after you have the graphic that you like you're going to set your background to a green color, preferably as green as slime. You want it nice and green. Of course, with a green screen, you can use any color, but the most green is the best. And then what I'm doing now is I'm going through the process of choosing the right photo that I want. Of course, that is something that um, you would choose for your video and of course the text. Now I will say with this first one that I'm doing, it did not translate well um, because of the black in the back, but you don't have to use that one. That was just an option that I chose. So as you see here, I'm taking the time to go through each of these and creating the background as green. So that is what's gonna help us give the see-through effect or um, the green screen effect for these transitions. So once you notice that all of them are green, you're going to go to download and you're going to download all of the images. Now this is if you would like them as an image for your video. So if you want to use these green screens as a video transition, then you'll go to animate and choose the one that you like the most for your videos and you'll just edit um, each of these slides with that trans with that desired transition. So yeah, as you see here, I am adding the same animation to each of the slides so that they're all the same. Once you're done, you're gonna hit download and it's gonna save as an MP4 file on your computer. Now that that's downloaded, we are ready to use these in our video. So once your green screen graphics have officially saved to your computer, you're gonna begin by editing them on your timeline. So add it to your video editor, and then you're going to drag it into your timeline wherever you choose. So as you see here, I'm just deciding where I would prefer to use this and my video so once i've found a spot that i want to use it for my video then what you're going to do is you're going to play it make sure that it looks properly on the screen of course this still has the green screen because we haven't edited it yet but we're going to make sure that it's in place if you're using filmora you'll just double click on that and click chroma key and you're gonna click on this thing that looks like a little paintbrush, and you're gonna use that, and you're gonna click anywhere on the green. 
When you click on it, what it does is it takes the green screen away and you have your graphic. So what I would normally do is go back and check and make sure that the graphics look properly and you'll see that it is there. I have my graphics and the cool transitions. So what I normally do is I'll shrink the transition so that I can reposition it where I would like it on my video so that when it comes up, it's not covering my face. So yeah, that is how I create my own green screen transitions. Um, what you'll notice is it saves it as one complete video. And so you'll have to do some playing around and maneuvering with your green screen video. As you see here, some part of it is cut out. So of course that's something that I'm gonna have to move over, reposition, and make sure it's to my liking. So once I have everything in place, then I am ready to use my edits. So for this last piece, what I've done here is I have noticed that this is covering my face completely. And so I decided to just edit that small piece out. And what you'll notice I'm doing here is I'm stretching out my timeline to make sure that my clipping is precise because I don't want the previous graphic to be in this part of the video. So once you cut it, you're able to move it and you'll notice that that specific graphic is alone and in the place of the video where you prefer. So yeah, y'all, that is how I create my own green screens using Canva. So with this next clip, this is what the finished product looks like using my green screen graphics that I created for this video. So if you like my content, leave a like. If you have a question, leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to love yourselves and thanks for seeing me naturally. Bye y'all.